Hey guys, welcome back to a, another one of the Sport V Service Series videos. I have the lower unit, the drive, or the foot, however you want to call it. I call it the lower unit, and uh, we're gonna putting it. We're going to be putting it together all back again. Um, <laughs> let's start by putting the drive shaft back together and uh, I mentioned it a couple of uh, another of my videos there was absolutely nothing wrong with this motor perfectly fine we're going to be doing everything we did on the previous video just backwards obviously okay tapered roller bearing facing back and the gear sorry the gear goes the other way that's it Okay, so here is the nut right here. This is a uh, same side put on the notes on the last video. It's a one and one eight socket. There we go. This is a uh, tap lock nut. It's kind of like a, I'm sure most of you guys know, it's kind of like a nylock, but there's no nylon on it. The, the nut actually, it's a little, it's got some dimples that make it so it locks in place, into place, and it doesn't back out. Okay, I'm gonna get a little noisy right here for a minute. I'm gonna have to use it. The vice. Got it. All right, I apologize, that was a little noisy. And back to the drive. All right, so now that we have this all assembled, back together, we make sure again, there is no thing on these bearings. Make sure that there is nothing on the gear. Now, when you are Putting all this back in, you gotta be careful because you have the roller bearing back here that you don't want to damage, and you have the taper bearing in here 
that you want to get right into place. That's it. Now on this side, this step right here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put this, um, the front cover just now for, with a, I'm going to hold it with a couple of screws. Not all of them yet because I then once I have put all my my gears and I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the lash the gear lash and everything um, then I'll take it back out again and then seal everything front and back Okay, so I'm just going to not only hand tight, but I'm going to give it a little bit right there, because this is important, the travel that this will have. Okay, <clears throat> now we are going to jump onto the input carrier. We need to make sure that there is no dirt, dust, or anything on this surface right here because you also don't want anything to get stuck or in the, that could be stuck in the, in the threads. These are very, very fine threads. And the same thing on the actual casting. All right, we are gonna have the punch, the 5 16 punch, and drop it in there again. Carefully drop it because these tolerances are—they uh, are not super super tight, but they are a little bit. What I do normally, I just go kind of like reverse it a little bit. The threads, these are regular threads, right hand, but I reverse it a little bit to feel when it drops and that helps me make sure that there is that I'm not cross threading it all right so right now I just felt it in the gears started engaging um, you do want to move this a little bit make sure that you're not smashing the gears and once the once the teeth like get into place what happens is they, they start going down this input carrier starts going down and the gears kind of like they don't fall into place they, they start mushing like this so by moving it you, you'll know you get it out of the way so you can start threading it down and it allows it to go back down. Okay, now why am I doing this? I'll show you in a minute. Because there has to be, there is, I'm gonna show you how to take this measurement right here. It's the gear lash that I'm gonna show you how to take. See this, this little back and forth? 
on the shaft, what we're measuring is it's what's called the gear latch. And it's the, the space that is in between those two gears, the one that goes in and the one that's obviously in the back. So it's, it's kind of like the between the two teeth, the gear lash, and that will make it so it's not, um, it's just right for the oil and everything, the lubricant to go in, and you don't have a noisy drive. Because if you have it too tight, you there is not enough oil, obviously, and the gears make this this real annoying and, and, and obviously not good. Um, squeaky noise, it's like a whiny noise. So what you want it to be is anywhere from three to five thousandths. Five thousandths is, is already a little too much. And um, if you had the right tools, well, not the right tools, but a, a spline with a drill down here, the way that we, when we were developing this, you can spin it and then spin this down so you can bring it down and being spinning it, spinning it at the same time with the drill and uh, you can actually hear that noise. With, uh, like I said, between three and five thousandths, you can um, still hear it. But once you put the oil in, it all goes away. Now, this is a tool that we bought from Mercury Marine. They sell it and you have to put the nut back here and thread it okay you you don't want it like super tight you just want it to be tight on the nut <clears throat> We still have 28, about 30 thousands. <clears throat> All right, so four to five thousands, that's what we wanted to be. Once you have that, grab your uh, 316 little Whether you have the T handle or a socket or whatever it is. I'll try to hurry here so we don't have that much noise. We still have production going on. just dropped my tool thank you very much <clears throat> okay so that is locked in place the next step that we have we're pretty much done with all this thing it's all put together and everything the next step that we would have is just before we actually put it onto the onto the motor we need to um, lock these ones we're gonna torque them to it is 255 inch pounds. Um, we take this cover back off, seal it. I like to use the black RTV, ultra black Permatex. 
go to the you can find it at any uh, auto parts store in the back of it right here once you uh, check that the seals or repair or replace the seals um, put the the seal cap on make sure this is sealed make sure this is stored and you have your link shaft and that's it once we uh, are ready to put it back on to the and uh, to the transmission on the motor uh, made it with the transmission what I do I put the o-ring over here on this surface the, there's the groove and then I again use the black RTV to seal this part once it goes up uh, put the nuts back on and that's it you have it all back together but I will show you that part when I put the transmission back together which I'm gonna show you on a different video thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you guys this time